everyone, and welcome to another edition of Daniel's Technology Podcast. Today I am talking with my dad, Annabelle Pacheco. This segment is sponsored by Daniel Industries, which is owned by me. So, Dad, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. So, let's get to the questions. So, Dad, will computers repeat the failure that older technologies experience in education? Well, son, the truth is that it is hard to predict if computers and new technology will fail because in today's learning environment, we do not allow technology to mature enough for us to realize the benefits of it. This is one of the reasons Wang and Reeves are that some educators lose interest too fast while others move on looking for the next big thing. Furthermore, as technology has evolved over the years, the use of computers is less prevalent today as we move from a desktop-based environment to a mobile device one that is hosted on the cloud. For example, schools are using iPads, cloud-enabled Chromebooks, and smartphones, all which are slowly starting to replace computers, of course, depending on where you're at. However, in some schools, teachers are still using computers with no plans of going mobile try BYOD, or even going one-to-one. So, Dad, can you explain to me why do teachers need to use technology in their classrooms? Son, teachers need to use technology in the classroom because it is important that learners use the same tools and resources they will encounter once they enter the workforce. Moreover, when you go to college, you will need to have a general understanding of how to use technology and its effects on yourself and society as a whole. Now that we have talked about technology in the classroom, can you tell me how would you gauge your own enthusiasm for technology? While my enthusiasm for technology is high, I remain cautiously optimistic about its adoption and integration throughout the educational system. So the reason I'm saying this is because many teachers see technology as the cure for everything that is wrong in today's system. So, Dad, can you explain to me what are your fears surrounding the use of technology in the classroom? Sure. One of my fears is that of teachers who refuse to change their views, meaning that they're stuck in their old ways and they're not willing to learn anything new that will make them more useful to their learners and to other teachers as a whole. The other is that of teachers at the other end of the spectrum. And this one is kind of dangerous. Those are the ones that are too eager to adopt new technologies without first exploring if there was ever a need for that technology in the first place. Thus placing technology before pedagogy or andragogy if we were talking about adult learners. Let me give you an example that you can understand. Let's say in your school, we put Chromebook cards, meaning cards full of Chromebook computers in all of the classrooms. And we do this before any of the teachers are trained and without knowing what they're there for in the first place or what is their purpose. So dad, now that we are getting close to the end of the podcast, what are your thoughts about Michael Fullen's statement when he says that education change depends on what teachers do and think? It's as simple and complex as that. If educational change is To happen, it will require that teachers understand themselves and be understood by others. Can you elaborate? Absolutely. I will have to agree with full statements about teachers being the catalyst needed for change to happen. Furthermore, there is a need for all teachers not to only understand themselves as a profession, but to stop and really think what technology is there for in the first place. Educators, in my experience, are split up in two camps those who love technology and embrace it, and the ones that do not want anything to do with it. Either way, because they do not understand the benefits of using the technology for instruction, or they have failed to keep up with everything that is happening in the educational community as a whole. Which brings me to the point of those in education who say that computers will eventually replace teachers. I actually tend to disagree with that statement. However, while the teaching profession is not going away anytime soon, teachers who refuse to make use of technology 
and to see it as a learning multiplier within the learning environment will start to disappear or find new careers altogether. Finally, at the end of the day, it is important that we learn to harness the power of technology as a resource and not just some bells and whistles as some teachers like to call it. Well, Dad, thanks for sharing all of your insights and knowledge with me and listeners of this podcast. It was a pleasure having the discussion with you, and I hope you have a great day. Tune in next week as we discuss another hot topic in educational technology. Until then, stay cool, and may the force awaken in you. Keep Minecrafting like a boss!